it's Ashton. And it is John. What is up, guys? We're back with another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be watching... Frankenstein Angry Video Game Nerd Episode 58 by the channel Student Massacre. If you enjoy the video, make sure you go and subscribe. I don't know. I'm sick. My voice is, like, disappearing or something. So. Disappearing? Yeah. Um, yes, it's very important to support the channels you love. Link is down below, like she said, guys. Suggestion from Granty's Nuts. Thank you so much for the support. The last one we watched, which is Dracula, was pretty good. That first game was just god awful um you guys can also help support the channel if you want to if you click on that link down below in the description and throw it down through Streamlabs, and let you pick one of the next videos that we react to just keep it under 10 minutes include the videos link title or link title your email I let's kinda, get to this i kind of want to play that one though just to see the typing know? one yeah just Ugh. to see like what you can say to it you know like, yeah, i suppose it'd be funny i think it'd be terrible i don't know i think it, well yeah it would be terrible but i for some reason i'm just curious to like what you can say to get the the game to like respond back something funny you know right. like sodomize can't yourself fuck anything i don't know how to sodomize <laughs> anything no like, it probably does like... know how to do that one and let's what the game type that in and it would probably work <laughs> all right so tonight we do something a little different because i've been torturing myself enough with all these shitty games so i created a monster to conduct the review pc double a's behold Franken nerd. Yeah, I could really use another bolt of lightning. There it yeah. is. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> Here it is. scary game I love playing. I think it was House of Dead on the uh, Dreamcast. It might not have been House of Dead, but it was the same style where it takes you through the level and you just shoot. What's a Dreamcast? I've never heard of that. Sega Dreamcast? Oh. Um, came out around the time of, like PlayStation 2? Right before it. Sega's last shot. This is a game. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein on Super Nintendo. Game. Good, good. You bet your ass it's good. Here, here's the control for you. Just hit start, knock yourself out. F1. Looks like Uncle Fester. Oh, come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. <laughs> yeah, you, you like that game, huh? Go in the building. What's the point of going in the door? Little shortcuts? I guess. Yeah, get the fire. Oh, well, what was the point of that? You gotta ride the elevator thingy? I, oh, look, you fell. You, you gotta get it to come down. Pull the ropes. Oh, where, where are you going? Like, what, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Pull the rope again. No good. Yeah, it's frustrating, isn't it? The, all right, we'll, we'll play another game. Try the adventures of Dr. Franken. This one better, maybe? Before you check it out, Frankenstein's got some. Oh, he's cool. Yeah, okay. He's trying to yeah. make him hip for the kids. Frankenstein's cool. <laughs> well, actually, since the game's called The Adventures of Dr. Franken, I would assume that you play as the doctor. So, why are you the monster? Dr. Franken? Right. What's that? A Hadouken? A Sonic Hadouken. Boom, a flash kick? Wow, this game's another Street Fighter wannabe. Here you go, go in the door. What's wrong? You're pushing the buttons? Oh, are you like uh, hitting every button? Uh, you're pushing up, pushing down. Uh, I don't Classic know, go to. Yeah. <laughs> Biggest mistake Dr. Frankenstein made. If you're gonna make a monster, you better be able to shut it down. Gotta have that off switch. But unfortunately, can't shut off the game because the monster's in my soul. It's my duty, duty, to play it for myself and explain why this game sucks because I created a monster and there's no turning back. Okay, so I figured out that the goal is to collect pieces of a passport which says F-Bone. 
a passport. Bone or just F Bone? Is he the monster, the scientist? Who knows? The control He's a cool is guy, ass, we know that. But it's that certain kind of assness that's hard to explain. It's like if you push one button, it attacks behind, like if there's somebody behind your back. But if you hit the other button, it attacks in the front. So it takes a lot of time to get used to figuring out which direction you need to be facing to use each attack. If you ever played Double Dragon 2, it's the same thing. It's all screwed up. It looks like a pretty easy game, but I can't stop dying. You get this huge life bar, but you take two or three hits and you're dead. But I think the Stupid. biggest problem is that you move too fucking fast. It seems like you never have time to react to enemies and obstacles, so you have to keep tapping the D-pad so that you don't run into things. And that's no fun. It's like Definitely in Sonic not. the Hedgehog. You love running fast. You want to keep the flow going. You don't want to stop moving. It's the game's based off of. You gotta slow down and pay attention. But the only difference is that that game was fun and feels rewarding to that patience. But this game is fucking garbage. Just kicked a tornado. <laughs> now for the feature presentation. Well, the cartridge says Frankenstein the Monster Returns, but the title screen just says Frankenstein. What the hell? Huh. As the game begins, you'll notice that the graphics are pretty good for NES standards, and it reminds you of Castlevania. Essentially, it's the same concept, but instead of Dracula, it's Frankenstein you're going after. You're trying to rescue some girl, I don't know, who cares? And yeah, the monster okay. in the game is called Frankenstein. I guess nobody ever read the book or saw any of the movies. So basically, you walk right and kill everything in your way, but just to confuse you, there's all these doors which don't have much purpose whatsoever. If you go in, you might find some energy, but some of them, like this one, takes you into these sewers where you have to fight a dragon which looks like Barba from Zelda 2. If you beat the dragon, you get some energy, which might make up for whatever energy you lost fighting the dragon, so how I about mean, just don't go in I mean, if you just beat a fucking dragon in a fight, I'm pretty sure Frankenstein's gonna be an easy one. Dragon yeah. at all. It only exists to make the game a little more complicated, so all you want to do is keep walking right, and don't go in any of the doors. Then you get to the stage boss, which is the Reaper, kind of like Dracula from Simon's Quest. But here's the real annoying part. When you beat him, a bird comes, and trust me, you gotta kill it. If you let this bird touch you, it carries you back to the beginning of the stage. Oh. So you fucking gotta go through all over again. That's And you think that the Reaper oh will still be dead? God. But no, you have to beat the Reaper again, and the bird again. Oh, man. What the fuck? Afterwards, you fight some minotaur thing, which is the real stage boss, and then you get a cutscene which is slow and drawn out. Why can't the text move any faster? In the second stage, you fight your way through the woods. Some of the trees have platforms, but you're never sure where you can stand. Like, look at this. Like, I'm standing right in between them. Don't you no, think I, I would fall down? Yeah, you'd think then you think so. you climb up a giant tree stump, I guess, and there's some random guy who talks to you. Afterwards, you don't know where to go, so at first I climbed back down and then walked all the way back to the start, wandered everywhere till I found out that you're supposed to jump down the right side, but you keep getting stuck on the edge, so it's never clear where to go. Like, couldn't there be a sign or something? Then immediately you fight the evil he monster and she monster of the trees, which is what the guide just told us about. Doesn't it seem cheap that right after he tells us evil about he monster. monster, they appear? It doesn't build up any mystery. Remember the first Zelda game? You knew that you had to fight Ganon, the instruction manual talked about him, characters in the game talked about him, but at the time, nobody knew what Ganon looked like. It created all this suspense, but imagine if they never talked about him until right before you walked into that room. It's like, oh, there's this monster you gotta fight. Oh, there's the monster, fight him. <laughs> then you come to the swamp where you have to hop on no build pads. Up. But there's barely enough space to jump from one pad to the next. If you miss, you have to fight a merman underwater. You oh, can't man. swim back up. The only way to get out is to beat the merman. But there's no real strategy. So you just it's kind of interesting what they did, though. Honestly, give this game a little respect. Like, most games would have just made you die when you fall in the water. This one gives you a bonus level where you might not have found that. If you I, yeah. you'd expect to start right back at the swamp. But no, it starts you off with the merman. Weird. Yeah, you don't get a second chance on the lily pads. You have to fight the merman over and over until either you beat him or run out of lives. And you only get a few. Oh, that continues. sucks. The only way to pick up where you left off is to enter a password. And then you still have to play the whole stage all over again. Finally, you make it back to the swamp. This time, I'm just going to try to inch my way to the edge of that lily pad. Oh, fuck, it goes away. Wow, you're really smushed between a bag of piss and a pile of shit. If you jump right away, you don't make it. If you take your time and carefully plan your jump, then the lily pad sinks. And once you fall down, you might as well hit reset because Stupid. the whole game goes. See, that hard oh, to be. I'm standing as close to the fucking edge as possible, and even then, it's still not enough to clear the distance. So Maybe you have to fight him. I'm putting in a password for the third stage. Here, you get this pretty cool graveyard scene. The tombstones attack you. 
I think they were really running out of ideas That's here. dumb. Then I'm going through yeah, this no castle, shit. and the enemies are too hard to kill, so I find myself running past them just to get ahead. But that's not the mark of a good game, is it? Because doesn't it mean that you're not enjoying the game if all you want to do is bypass everything so you yeah, can get the game over true. as quick as possible? Then you gotta fight a floating red skull that calls itself the Gatekeeper. What's the hand's name? The Key Master? Then you fight Dark <laughs> Warrior. Ooh, scary. Dark Warrior. How about Death Guy or Mr. Kill? Stage four is the final stage. Yeah, they chose to keep the game as short as possible, yet as annoying as possible. This place is all fucked up. There's all these weird faces in the background. Like, where are you supposed to be? That looks pretty intense for Satan's Frankenstein asshole? being the uh, yeah. end and you result you fight. Classic monsters. First, it's the Wolf Man, but here he's called the Man Wolf. After you beat him, you get a new copyright. Three-way fire. It's kind of like the spread gun. In I feel like whoever but made this what? was on when like you an acid trip or something. Time, Maybe. You lose it, which happens only in a matter of seconds. Then you get smothered by sackless balls. Yeah, floating testicles. Oh, then Jesus. you fight Dracula. Yeah, Dracula's in this game. His arm looks all cockeyed. Looks like Did a it? dick. Like his hand <laughs> it does. <is> <laughs> dickhead so once again it's like castlevania almost as if frankenstein and dracula just switched places then you have to swing on vines like jungle hunt but you end up oh, just jumping man. through the vines and die so now just to try again i gotta type in the fucking That's password right. it's so tedious i mean it's not the longest password i've ever seen but it's still longer than necessary but unlike most passwords if you move the d-pad to the sides it doesn't move your cursor over to the other side. So say your cursor is on the letter K yeah. and you need to move to J. In most games, all you need to do is move the cursor left and it will show up on J. But here, you can't do that. You have to move the fucking cursor all the way to the J. A lot of effort considering that J comes right before K. It's so fucked up. And also, if you enter the password and it turns out that it's wrong, like if you messed up on one letter, it erases the whole thing and you gotta Still type it in. Oh anyway. my god, no. Why can't I just go back and fix the one letter? I really hate this password thing in general. Because <clears throat> what's the point? You should have unlimited continues. Yeah, because the only reason you should have to put in a password is if you turn the game off and want to come back to it later. As long as you're still playing, you're going to keep playing the same stages over and over and over again. So what's the point of sending you all the way back to the beginning? The earlier stages are the easiest, and those are the stages you end up playing the most. It's the later stages where you need the most practice. It's all about trial and error. Like imagine if in high school you fail out of senior year. What happens? You do senior year again, right? You don't have to go back and do freshman year again so bottom line have unlimited continues god damn it another big that was the problem with about games. game is that enemies can kill you even after they're dead like you have to wait for them to completely die before that's you so pass. dumb anyway i can't get past the vine so i'm gonna cheat with game genie the last resort but check out these codes Almost unlimited energy, invincibility after losing the first life may cause the game to freeze, start with no continues, cannot collect extra energy, and one hit is fatal. What kind of codes are these? That doesn't like help you. Sick fuck who thinks the game isn't hard enough? Like somebody who wants to be tortured some more? Well, how about this? I got a code for you. How about a code that just starts you off dead? Yeah, well, well I don't want to freeze, so... I guess I'm going to go with almost invincibility, whatever that means. At first, the code works fine, but then I found out that if you collect energy, it takes life away. Not that you would need to collect energy, but it's kind of silly, isn't it? And guess what? Once you get to the vines, you still die. Well, that would have been nice. Why couldn't the code say invincibility except for the vines? Yeah, no crap. Even if you oh, pass man. the vines, the invincibility goes away, so you're left with your own wits to fight Frankenstein. So... Fuck the game genie and let me tell you the game genie doesn't to help. Do I don't know, fucked. man. So you fight Frankenstein. His first form's pretty easy, but then he grows into a giant super Frankenstein. The fuck is that? Come on, come on. Um. Come on, you fucking Frankenstein. Oh man. Ah. I know. Come on, he's gaming. Here it comes. It's <laughs> like the heavy metal version. <laughs>
What a good climax to that episode, huh? Guys, if you like that video, go and check it out at the channel that is Cinemasker. Link is down below in the Descripto. Better than the Dracula one. That game was better than the Dracula ones also, but there's a lot of problems with it. Those I cheat think codes, there's problems with all of them. It's not fucking cheat codes. It's not how to kill you faster codes. God damn. Fuck you. Catch you guys in the next episode. Bye.